Yes. Hi, how are you? I am having an exceptional day. How about you? I am having an outstanding day, almost as your exceptional one. Well, thank you for joining us here in Dallas, Texas on the Belder BB Show. How hot is Dallas right now? Oh, we're having cool weather. It's just in the 90s today. <laughs> 90s. Sounds like a sauna to me. It is. You know, Texas is a whole nother planet over here. You guys got those hot. You know what? I was in Fort Worth. I went to Ladies. I got myself Texan booth and I got myself a hat. That's what I was going to ask you. You got to get the hat. Boots yeah, count, yeah. but hat really, you really finishes. Yeah. You know what? I tell you, I was born to wear a hat, a Texan hat. I can pull that off. <laughs> I'm sure you look fabulous, Chef Fabio. I remember you. I got to tell you, I remember you from Top Chef, and then you came back on that Top Chef All Stars. Yeah. And you were fabulous. I lost both shows. How'd you like that one? And look at you. You're now the star. You, we don't remember those other people. We only making remember sandwiches you. Making and making people happy. I love it. I love it. Well, do you have a great sandwich you want to help us with today? Because I heard yes. that you're going to yeah. kind of talk about Revive the Dagwood so Sandwich. That's what I'm here for, okay? So I team up with the guys at Auto Wheat Bread. What we are bringing to America is a beautiful contest called americasbettersandwich.com. That's a website where you can go and submit your recipe in one of the fourth category. Creative Classic, Fueling Good, Meatless Marvel, and Stealthly Simple. I got two examples for you here. We took a good sandwich with good ingredient and we made it better. Each brand, uh, I'm sorry, each variety of bread that Oro Wheat has up to 19 grams of whole grain per slice. In here, I got two kinds of bread. I got the whole wheat, and I did a spin-off on a club sandwich. Instead of using turkey, I did use ham. And instead of using mayonnaise, I'm using Greek yogurt and pineapple. Super sweet, it's very nice and creamy. Right here, I have sandwich thin. And inside, there is turkey, pepper jack cheese, slice of apple, and blueberry in the sandwich. You're welcome. How'd you like that? Oh, but my producer loves blueberry. He's going to love this sandwich, Chef. I stick him in a sandwich. <laughs> That's a great idea. It's a fantastic idea, especially in hot Texas, cooling, refreshing. It's, it's really good. It is, and this time of year, I, obviously, you know something. We eat a lot of a lot of uh, cold soups and sandwiches because it yeah, is so yeah. warm. Yeah, and it's time to make a good sandwich a better one. You know, the bread selection is very important. You gotta go with nutrients. You gotta go with the whole grain. That's why I'm very proud of working with the folks at Auto Wheat. Well, I want to tell you, and this is no, this is just a personal endorsement. Or wheat, that's one of my favorite breads. I'm glad I'm glad you like it. You know what? I'm I'm a big supporter of it. It's it's good, wholesome bread, a lot of grains inside, a lot of whole grain, and there is no artificial like you know the high fructose corn syrup and a couple of other ingredients that you definitely don't want to have in your sandwich. So I'm very happy with the relationship and I cannot wait to see all the input and all the recipe at the America's Better sandwich.com website all right we're going to send our audience there so that they can make a better sandwich and i wanted to also say or wheat has a lot of choices of bread that's why and one of the reasons why i like it also yeah absolutely they have different choices you know they have the thin they have the whole wheat they have different flavor different grains and you know it's 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 a good it's a good choice to make a great sandwich and to be healthy and so we can yes, make those yeah. great sandwiches and tell me where we need to go online because i want my audience to participate i want my i want my winners to win you can participate yourself all you gotta do is to go to america's better sandwich.com well and you can tell i am so excited and i want my audience to be excited about making a great sandwich reviving that and a healthy sandwich that's the good part Chef. Yep, so thank yep. you very very good one all right then, Chef Fabio. What are we going to see you next on TV? Because I know you did some ebooks. I want to see you on TV. We have yes. You can find a little bit more information about me on my website, FabioViviani.com, and I'm always on TV. I do a lot of appearances, and uh, you just gotta keep watching. I'm gonna be around. 
All right, we'll keep watching because we know you make a great sandwich and you're a great entertainer. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Chef Fabio. Thank you very much, honey. Appreciate your time. Thank you guys for having me. Hey, Valder, how are you? Good morning, Mario Armstrong. Thanks for Good joining morning. us once oh, again. Thanks for having me back on again. Are you kidding me? Well, I told you you're one of the smartest guys that I've seen. <laughs> tell that to my mom. <laughs> well, my thank mom. you. Tell your mom <laughs> tell she did mom. a good job. All right. Okay, good. Well, thank you. I want to talk technology and digital lifestyle. Tim, and that's what you are. You're, you're an expert in that area. But it's time for back to school. How can kids have some fun with their technology but still learn? Yes, and parents want to know if they can still learn, right? So I got you covered on a lot of different ideas. The first one is kids need a really good computer, but not only that, they're also looking for great tablets. So instead of choosing one or the other, get both with the Acer Aspire Switch 10. This is a two-in-one device, very versatile, productive, portable, and affordable. Easy to take the tablet portion right off. The screen can come right off of the keyboard, and that can give you four different modes that you can use it in. A table, tablet mode, a tent mode, a display mode, and more. We're talking Windows 8.1 on this device. 379 bucks at Best Buy, very inexpensive and affordable. And we're talking lightweight too. We're only under a, a pound if it's just a tablet and under three pounds if it's the full blown laptop. So easy to carry to class. You can do great games and get a lot of work done and homework still on that. That now, is so good. That's a good one, right? That's big. That is, that's excellent. The other one that kids are going to like are smart watches. A lot of people are wearing devices. They see their parents wearing them too, but now they have their own. So VTech has come out with the Kitty Zoom smart watch. Really, really cool. It has a camera in it, video recorder, photo effects, built in games, has a big and easy to use color touch screen, and it's super durable. Kids can wear this at the playground and not worry about it getting destroyed. And it also has parental controls in it as well. So really, really great device. I've been wearing it on my wrist and shooting some pictures of the staff and then the crew here in studio. So You're wearing kitty zoom? <laughs> I'm wearing a kitty zoom. <laughs> <laughs> How cute. <laughs> I've, been having, I've been having fun wearing this guy. I've been having a lot of fun wearing the it. The child within us. <laughs> the kid within us, that's right. Speaking of the kid within us, I have other great kid fun devices, but also things that can protect our devices. So I'm talking about iPhone cases as well as over the ear headphones that are inspired by some of kids and maybe some adults' favorites like Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, and Pixar. So you want to protect those devices, so do it with something that's really cool and fun like these iPhone cases. They're available at Disney Store or DisneyStores.com. And then the headphones are great because they're not only great, colorful, and great characters, but most importantly, parents will love that they have sound limiting volume designed in these headphones to protect those young ears and we're talking less than 20 bucks for these items so really really great for back to school that. that's excellent i told you you're the smartest guy i've seen talking in the tech field <laughs> they I need to snap you up at google <laughs> i'll let them know that I'll, I'll put that in on the resume valder said google valder said you need to pick me up <laughs> you would be great for them mario what else do you have i appreciate that i got a couple more things i just want to run through one is you have to have a great phone when going back to school and i wanted one that's not going to break the parent's bank if they're paying for it or the kid's bank if he or she is paying for it. So the Lumia 635 is a great pay-as-you-go phone that's really inexpensive but super powerful. It's got the latest Windows operating system in it, so all the apps and games and educational things they want to get done as well as web browsing, email, all of that can get done on this. It also has changeable bright color uh, shells so they can personalize it a little bit. And it has its own personal digital assistant called Cortana, which is also very useful. And then for any device, Valder, I don't care what you're buying, for computers, tablets, you need to make sure it has Intel inside. That chip is really important because it really is gonna ensure that you get faster speed, greater performance, more stability, faster boot up times. No one wants to wait for their computer or tablet to boot up. You don't have time for that, especially when we're talking back to school. You need to get work done. Maybe also have some downtime with some games and some fun. So Intel is like your V8 engine of all your technology devices. So invest in that. And then lastly, you'll love this one because I know you take a lot of photos like I do. And so it's called the Groovebook app. Now this app, Groovebook app, 
enables you to take 100 images off of your phone every month and they will ship to you your own photo album, your own groove book. And so it's $2.99 a month, the shipping and handling is free. All you have to do is each month select 100 photos off of your device through the app and they'll take care of everything else for you. They'll ship out the beautiful books. The, the uh, images are also perforated, so you can actually tear them out and share them with family and friends. You can frame them. It's just a really great way, if you're gonna capture that first day of school all the way to graduation, we take a lot of pictures on our devices, but we never seem to really get them printed out. So this is an easy way to get that done. And where can we find this on the web, Mario? Yes, just head over to our website. Lots of great stuff there at thunknews.com slash back to school. I'm a great lover of, of uh, making my house beautiful and, and doing all the things that it, ha it needs to have curb appeal. And I heard that you're going to help us transform our home's exterior just with a few simple steps because I don't have time now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to. I want to I tell the homeowners how they can add color and design appeal easily to their home exterior. And, okay, what can we do? Well, a lot of people think that it begins at the front door when you're creating curb appeal, but actually it's best to start at the top of your home and look at the roof, work down to windows, siding, front door, and trim to create the most eye-pleasing palette. So that's where we start. And just like you mentioned, you love creating a beautiful interior by coordinating a, a, cut your colors and design into a harmonious scheme. The same is true on your exterior. So this top-down method gives you a way to create that coordinated look. So just keep in mind that no individual element on the home exterior stands alone. You want to think about the marriage of materials, color, and design to create that whole cohesive look and the maximum color, you know, the maximum curb appeal. Okay, so when we want to do this, where do we go, Kate? I'm serious. Do we go to, like the home improvement store because we need guidance. We don't have a Kate Smith at home. <laughs> well, you don't, have, you don't have me at home, but I'm going to give you some tips and then I'll tell you how to go in, into my website so you can download okay. all of the information because you don't have to remember it all. But the thing I want you to remember is top down. So start at the roof and as you're thinking about the roof, is it in great condition and does it look great? And if not, you may want to consider a, polym a, a imitation slate or shake a 50-year polymer product like the ones made by Da Vinci Roofscapes can really enhance the overall look of the home and it making it a great investment. And because a roof isn't replaced often, it's a great place to start looking at the colors to develop your coordinated color scheme. Next, you want to look at your windows. Are they old? Do they need a facelift? Simonton Windows makes vinyl and uh, the, the vinyl windows that are easy maintenance, uh, energy efficient, and best of all, come in a whole range of exterior colors. So when you add a color to your window frames and grids that ties back to the other elements on your exterior, it really ties into your curb appeal. After you've looked at your roof and windows, turn that critical eye to your siding. Does it enhance your home? If not, you may be want to power wash or repaint to restore its original beauty. Now it's time to think about the front door because a energy efficient fiberglass door, especially one with decorative door lights, and like uh, an example you could find at Therma True Door, really enhance the curb appeal. You could think about wood grain or a smooth paintable finish, but don't be afraid to add color. Maybe even go bold. I like a door, I like a door that pops, the color that pops out. Then think about architectural elements, things like your columns, your molding, and trim. That's what makes an exterior special. And if you don't have those type of elements on your home, you can always add easy maintenance, polyurethane, crossheads, pediments. Those are the decorative elements that go above a door or a window or shutters. These are all great ways to add and enhance your home exterior. And Five Pond makes a whole range of these products, and they're actually the ones that began National Curb Appeal Month. 
So when you start top down, think about how you can bring all of those elements together on your exterior so that your home stands out while still fitting into your neighborhood is the, um, is the way to go and the, th the thing to think about. In addition, uh, I like to work with products that are not only low maintenance, but resist things like water and bugs, rot and decay, makes life a whole lot easier in the long run. And then add lighting, maybe a few accessories, and colorful, well-groomed landscaping, and you've created a powerful exterior. Sounds good. You're perfect with your timing. My producer tells me I've got to wrap up. So where do you want to send us online? I want to send you to my website so they can get those free downloads I talked about. It's sensationalcolor.com. I've got a couple of curb appeal tip sheets and two e-books that will walk you step by step through the process of creating curb appeal uh, on your own home. Kate Smith, you've been a wealth of information and a great inspiration. Thank you so very much. And come back and talk with us and see how we're doing. I'd love to. Thanks so much. Thank you, Kate Smith. Hello, Valder. Valder, how are you doing? Hi, can you guys hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Valder BB Show. It's my pleasure to talk with you guys. Well, thanks for having us. Well, no problem. I wanted to let my audience know that I'm speaking to Ron and John Daniels. They're the star of the all-new series on Animal Planet called Redwood Kings. Guys, I'll start with Ron. Ron, tell me about this amazing talent you have, and then I'll talk to John about this great opportunity <laughs> that you have. Amazing talent. Uh, gosh, I... <laughs> <laughs> Where do we begin? Um, you know, we're, we're just really lucky to be able to do what we do. And, and we, we just travel the world building tree houses and shooting galleries and themed environments and animatronics. And we just do crazy things. Uh, and, the, and, and where does all this come from? It's a combination of incredible talent, starting with John and myself, but our team back home, led by Mark, our, our foreman, who you'll see on the show. We just have an amazing group of just really, really great people and because of all that you know we have this collective talent okay now you guys i guess you call you guys environmentalists because from what i read i'm not sure you guys use fallen wood right is that true oh yeah yeah a lot of the stuff we use is reclaimed one way or another um, our yard is full of you know timber to uh, boards and things that we find uh, old rusty things that we use for decorations barn wood uh, you know, you, you know, barn wood, shingles, you know, we just, anything that we could find, we turn into treasure. Mm -hmm. So do you guys have a reverence for nature or wood or you just like wood? <laughs> well, you know, we grew up on a, on a ranch and, uh, you know, we just started at an early age, started building things with leftover ranch wood. You know, uh, the horses would, you know, chew a fence down or something. So we'd use the the leftover wood to, to build our clubhouse or something. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where it started when we were kids. So, but, you know, we quickly realized when we build these structures and we do these things with all this old reclaimed material, it has a spirit and a charm that just resonates with people. And they love it for the same reason we do. And so we're like, hey, I think we're on to something. And uh, it, it puts this, it puts an amazing charm and character into our work that new materials just can't do you know a sense of time you know when you when you look at the pieces they're timeless but you know just thinking about the history part of whatever we build it has history and sometimes thousands of years of history which is fascinating i think ron and i are uh, really into the history part of it are you guys yeah. are of one soul let me ask you tell you what i mean but i just found out today that you guys are twin brothers so you <laughs> yeah we're yeah, you think do you think alike and talk alike, and this is you know where you guys really come together. I mean, well, yes and no. John's right-handed. I'm left-handed. I'm a mathematician by education. He's an amazing artist. So in those respects, you know, a lot of things were just kind of polar opposite. But we've been working shoulder to shoulder with our other brother Jim, you know, even as well since we were little kids. And so, yeah, I mean, we're from this tight-knit family that grew up on a ranch, and we had to work together to survive and make a living. So. You know, sometimes Ron and I will complete a sentence, you know, because we think a lot alike, but we're pretty much opposite, as opposite can get. Yeah. Well, you guys, well, those are all ingredients for a good married couple. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, it's the yin and the yang, and, and, and you got to have it because we, we keep each other grounded. I think, uh, you know, you can't have one without the other sort of thing. So. Very complimentary, you know, roles that we, that we take on in the business. Well, I was trying to dissect what is your secret to success, and you've just told me you have all these, these same things going and these opposite things going. I think this is going to make you guys a big success on Animal Planet, one of my favorite channels. I have to say that. Thank you very much, and I'll, and I'll tell you, people, are, you're going to see what we're talking about. By the end of the season, All these, every episode is going to be completely different, and you're never going to see the same thing twice. They're going to run out of film before they run out of fascinating topics at Daniel's Woodland. And by the end of this season, people are going to go, my goodness, what else can these guys do? It's so incredible. And uh, hats off to our team because, you know, everyone, this collective talent, we do some crazy things. And uh, I think people are going to be inspired, and they're just going to love it. Okay, a couple things. i got to wrap up now. But I, yeah. we put you guys out there on Facebook. The ladies want to know who's single, who's available. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're both married. Sorry. We're 20 uh, years late there. <laughs> it's my job to ask the question. And when do you guys want us to watch Redwood Kings? Fridays at 9 p.m. I thank you, guys. I wish you the best. I know this is going to be a great show. I can't wait till you come back and tell me about your success. Thank we you will. So Thank much. you for having us. Thank you. So long. Bye. Hi, is this Diane Kruger? It is. Hi. Thank you for joining us here live in Dallas, Texas, on the Valder BB Show. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hi, you're in Texas where it's warm and very, very warm, but it's the best place on the planet. And maybe you can make a connection with us because your show, The Bridge, is about the border. That's right, El Paso. That's right. Yeah. So I guess you've spent a little time in Texas, I'm hoping. Very, very little. We shot about five days of the pilot of season one in El Paso, but um, I don't, I don't know Texas at all. Which I'm that's sorry, okay. I hate to that's say okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Tell me about the bridge on FX channel. Tell me what this show, because this has got to be controversial, got to mm. be hard to do, because it's not a little nice feel-good show. It certainly isn't. Um, I, it's a fascinating show. I am um, because we really are talking about issues that are very real. A lot of our storylines and people are based on real life events and, and people. So it, I myself got to walk the Bridge of the Americas into Juarez and just seeing it for myself and obviously I read the papers so it's a very timely show and we forever have to try and find this gr balance of making an entertaining show and yet you know being very realistic and real about what we talk about. That's right. This is a hot topic, the U.S. border, and as you know, and this is not to be political, but it's to show how the show is on the pulse of what's happening in our mm -hmm. time. Our governor has sent a thousand uh, uh, reservists to the border. I even mm -hmm. talked to this group called the Minutemen, and they're sending people to the border. So this is really timely for mm -hmm. you to do the bridge. Will we? What will we get from the bridge? Because we're having the real life drama already. I think it, we were trying to shine a, a light on a situation, or situations, because we don't really talk about just one issue. Um, and I think a lot of people either don't feel concerned or don't know about it. And it's not that it's just all drama all the time and there's no lightness there. Um, I think we've never seen on television a realistic show about what is going on and it's a very gray show our our struggle forever and our, our challenge is to not be judgmental we don't want to say oh it's so great in America but Mexico is just horrible and especially this season really talks about the American involvement and in what is going on and who really profits from some of the things that are happening whether it's corruption or money laundering and drug cartels so it's it's an exciting show to be part of and it's complex for sure it is, and you're complex because the last time I saw you, now you've done other things, but I saw you as the beauty Helena in, in Troy. <laughs> well, that's a long time ago, but yes, it's, it's, <laughs> quite, it's a different part for sure. But that's one of my 
favorite. I got it on DVD, so it's like recent, okay? So, you know, no, but, you know, how is it when you go from being the beauty, in a sense, to a regular role? And I know it's costume, makeup, and all of that kind of stuff, but what kind of psychological thing has to take place within you to be this in this different kind of environment? Well, in this case, it's less pressure, as you can imagine, like you pointed out, trying to look a certain way, certainly as Helen of Troy, took a long time. But um, uh, it's, 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 it's very satisfying, especially for women, I think, in, in our industry, to, to play real people, to play somebody who is not concerned of how they look or how they are presented each day. And I find myself being fascinated by the storylines that we have and reading up on something. And I feel like I get a little bit smarter because I learn so much about what's going on. And that's why I became an actor. You know, I, I want to play uh, real people and sometimes be a fantasy. It's so fun to, to be able to do it all if I get the opportunity. Well, it seems like you're loving your career, having a great time. What are we going to see you in later? Because I heard that you're coming up uh, later this year in something called The Better Angels. That's right. It's a black and white picture produced by Terrence Malick, um, directed by A.J. Edwards, who's from Austin, actually. Um, and it's a, it's a movie about Abraham Lincoln as a child, his formative years. And I play Sarah Lincoln, his stepmother. So very, very different film. Oh, that's interesting. Abe Lincoln is one of my favorite characters, and oh yeah, what a fascinating story. I love Arrival story. by Doris Kearns. Just, and I'm the only person that I know read it. Uh -huh. Me and President Barack Obama. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're gonna watch you in the bridge. Tell us when you want us to watch you. Uh, every Wednesday on FX at 10 p.m. Eastern uh, uh, Pacific time. So I'm assuming, is it on at the same time in Texas? It. Probably is. We can find that out. I, I would love to talk with you in the near future as this drama at the uh, border unfolds and see how your show interacts with that. Because I know it can't ignore it. I just know oh, we've yeah. got thousands of kids. And so usually life imitates art and art imitates life. So I'd really be interested. So I'm going to become a follower of the bridge to good. see what you guys do, your writers do and your producers <laughs> do. Great. That's good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate you, Diana Kruger, talking about The Bridge. Catch it, my audience. I want you to catch it on FX. It's very interesting. Thank you, Diana Kruger. Thank you. Bye. The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of talk show, right here on Black Premier TV. Monday and Wednesday at 6.30 p.m.